How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 12 in my Lambda Expressions in Java 8 series. In this video, we are going over how we can use a Lambda Expressions for event handling. So inside our Lambda Expressions project, I've created this new file of eventhandling.java and in this case I'm going to show you um, using buttons as an example. So we're going to add action listeners to these buttons uh, using the uh, you know Java 6, Java 7 ways as well as the new Lambda way. So I imported the Java x.swing package. Our class extends JFrame uh, takes in our constructor it takes a string s as a parameter which is then uh, put in the super uh, class constructor to give our JFrame a title. I do like all the default closing, size, layout, stuff like that. Created a new J panel. Created a button called old. So we're going to do this one uh, coding it the old way. A new button called lambda, which we're going to uh, code using a lambda way. And then create a label, which is going to output some sort of message. So just to run this, here is what our window looks like. And as the... Uh, title of this one will suggest you should go to subscribe to coding basics anyway enough uh, advertising myself let's just dive right into this so let's start by coding the uh, button using the old way so I'm gonna call this common out old way and now to do this we're going to uh, type old dot add action listener and we have to put in new action listener open close bracket open close curly brace and then inside here we have to implement our action and perform method so public void action performed uh, an action listener is a functional interface and the one method that you have to code for it always is the action perform method which takes an action event as a parameter and we're going to call this action event E and now I'm going to have to import uh, all the event handling stuff so import action listener and import action event so just go to the top here they are uh, you import action event from the java.awt.event package and action listener from the same place as well so now in here we can output any message. In this case I'm just going to uh, change the uh, text for our label. So label dot set text and we're going to set it to output uh, event handled the old way okay so let's run this to test it and now if we click on our old way button event handled the old way so it works just how we want it to now let's code our new lambda way a lot simpler once again so uh, for this lambda dot add action listener and then we are going to put in the parameter for our lambda expression which in this case is going to be e I'm just giving it the same as this action event so e is going to be a parameter for our lambda expression we put our arrow token and then for the body all we want it to do is print out a similar message or I guess not print out we're just changing a label um, so just copy this here, copy this here, control, oops, I hit control V instead of control C, my apologies. So, there we go. Oops. Okay, so event handled the lambda way is what we're going to say. And let's run this now, run. So old way still works fine. Event handled the lambda way. It got cut off there because I didn't make my J label long enough. Let's make this one uh, 
Uh, I don't know. Let's make this one 300, I guess. Uh, 300 pixels long. Let's try that now. There we go. So, all fixed. Just to explain this, this is actually very similar. Let me find it. Our threads tutorial that I did. The uh, compiler deduced that this lambda expression um, like could be converted that, uh, to a runnable interface. So that's what's happening here. The uh, compiler deduces here that you're trying to add a new action listener. So it ca uh, typecasts this lambda expression here to a new action listener, where E is the parameter, so the action event here. And you're just basically saying add an action listener, which when uh, this button is clicked, we want the action performed to be, you know, setting the text for this label. So that is what's happening there. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you guys this time. Remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.